<sighs> Look, you see, the thing is, I know it's slowly becoming an obsession, but do you know what I'm going to do? Absolutely nothing. I'm going to let it consume me. Hey guys, Nettie here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Nettie and I am a soft taught illustrator in a journey to learn, grow and improve my art skills. So let me tell you guys a short story. On August 16, 2018, I did something that changed my life. I made a purchase for my very first art book and slowly I have been falling into this dark, dark, dark abyss of like always wanting more art books. If you guys out there call it art books as well, you would know what this feels like. It's like each time you get money or any decent amount of cash, the first thing that comes to your head is I need to get the new art book. And it's like each time I'm getting over one or when I just get one, of them, I feel that satisfaction. Another one comes out and it's like I, I have to get it. I, I, I have to satisfy that urge. So yeah, I know it's becoming an obsession, but I'm, I'm just going to let it be because it's i think this is a good obsession okay so far i've collected 10 art books and honestly this is not even enough my to buy list is so long with art books from different artists that i love and different like educational art books that i also want to have in my shop or even some art books that i genuinely don't even know the artist but i found them because of their art books and now i just want it i, I just want the art book so for today's video i gathered up all my art books and i decided to share them with you guys because no one asked but i want to showcase my art books and you should be glad that you're seeing beautiful art on your youtube right now okay also, you're going to be hearing a lot of 3D Total and Kickstarter and backing because I get most of my art books from actually backing and supporting artists on Kickstarter, especially 3D Total because I'm obsessed with the quality of their books. This video is not sponsored by any means. It's just my opinion. I just love their books so much and they always team up with artists that I love, love, love so much. So yeah, that's why I always support most of their books on Kickstarter. All the art books I'll be mentioning in this video are not in any order of like pre preference or anything. I'm going to list them according to how I got them because genuinely I can't pick a favorite or say which one I prefer most because they are all amazing artists and they poured so much hard work into it that I feel like it's just going to be so biased to say I prefer this art book over this art book so yeah basically it's going to be in the order of how I bought them instead of order of preference or anything so if you're like me either an art enthusiast or an art book collector or hey maybe you're just here to find out if collecting art books is your new thing don't forget to like subscribe and hit that bell icon to turn on post notifications to remind it each time I upload a new video. So starting off at number one, my favorite, favorite art book we have, EXO Don't Mess Up My Tempo album cover because every member of EXO is a work of art. Okay, no, I'm joking. <laughs> so actually moving on to number one, we have this book, which is the Art of Lois. Now, first of all, this book actually comes like this. It has a slip-on case. And this book was originally a Kickstarter by 3D Total and Loish. Everyone knows Loish. I, I don't think I have to actually tell you about her. If you're an artist watching this video, you definitely know her. But Loish is an amazing illustrator and she's a digital artist and I absolutely love her work. So when the Kickstarter came out, I wasn't able to get it. But the moment I was able to actually get my very first art book, I instantly knew that this is the art book I wanted to I first the art book is 151 pages full color and it's just a beautiful book it talks about how her life behind the scenes and how she became an artist she also has some tips and tutorials at the back that I absolutely that I absolutely love because um who doesn't want some tutorials by like one of the most amazing artists ever so she has tutorials on hair and she has some really beautiful artwork like most part digital illustrations are here of course this book is kind of old i think it was in 2016 or 17 i forget but um she has more artwork now but this book nevertheless has amazing stunning gorgeous art i, I can't even i can't even explain so yeah that is the art book of lois and for my second book i got it the same time i got the art book of lois do you want to know why 
because yeah it's it's the sketchbook of lois yeah so this is actually like a sequel a book two for the art book of lois this one focusing more on lois's sketchbook and um behind the scenes more of her sketches i absolutely love it because i personally love sketching i love sketches i love seeing really sketchy loose art so having this in my arms and being able to dive into like look at this page look look at this look at this this is stunning chef's kiss like just it's just so beautiful it was also a kickstarter and i missed it as well um but of course the moment i was able to get it i got two of them at once i didn't even I, like i didn't even blink an eye i just made the purchase asap and honestly having these two books as my very first art books i couldn't be more honored ever so yeah these are the first two books from the artist Loish. so the third book i actually backed it it was my first time ever backing a project so obviously it came with rewards and came with extra goodies for people who backed the book it was a book by 3d total again the same book that made the sketch ske sketchbook of Loish and art of Loish. this book by hecla Heikla, i hope i'm pronouncing her name right by the way if i mispronounce anyone's name i'm really sorry i do apologize but this book the moment i saw it <clears throat> actually when i first saw the art book i wasn't i hadn't seen Heikla's artwork anywhere before so the like the kickstarter was the first time i saw her art and then i fell in love instantly and i went to her instagram and i just found out watching her videos her like process videos is the most therapeutic thing ever like honestly it's the most therapeutic thing the book is 152 pages and you guys i absolutely love it one thing i love about it is like the this the front cover and the, i don't know what it's called please forgive me but this page like the first page the spread i love the sketches and like this is a full spread it's gorgeous it's beautiful she also has pages for her sketchbook in it as well and like again like i said love the sketches absolutely love seeing artists behind the scenes so she has a huge sketchbook and then one of my favorite pages is this you guys you you guys this is i hope you guys can see this really well but this is beautiful i absolutely love this book it was, and it was the first kickstarter that i actually backed so it was the first time i really supported an artist to bring their dreams and it felt so good knowing that I was one of the people that were able to make this book happen so yeah that is the art book of hikala works and thoughts the next book i got is actually by an artist that inspired me to start posting my art online she's a huge inspiration to most artists especially me and it is gleaming the art of laila lopez again laila laila i'm not sure how to pronounce it but i think it's laila um so the art of laila lopez and it's look at this book can we take a moment to appreciate it? So Laila is an Instagram artist with over a million followers. I'm sure you guys know her. Like most of these artists I'm mentioning, I'm sure you guys know all of them. But she released her art book and the moment I set my eyes on it, I was like, yes, please. This one wasn't a Kickstarter. This one was actually published by a company. I think it's called, um, well, I cannot find that here. Hold on a second. What is it? Astron, Astronave. Astronave? I don't know. I think it's called Astronave. That's why I see here. So I'm assuming it's Astronave. Yeah. So it's by a company named Astronave. And it's actually, this is actually a paperback. Um, it ha so it has this. Uh, and then this is the hardcover. I think the only downside to it, which isn't a downside, this is just preference. I don't like books that have like this. It gets annoying when I'm reading it. Like, but people love this. I know my roommate said she was obsessed with books that have this like i'll call it paperback i'm not sure what it's called um i don't like it i just just give me the hardcover that's all i want um so yeah but obviously the illustration on the cover is gorgeous so i can't take it off because it's just so beautiful she dives in on her like life and progress and the love illustrations um and sketches and artworks and talks about mostly her inspiration and yeah so that's the art of laila lopez the fifth art book that i got I actually backed it again from Kickstarter from 3D Total and it's this beautiful, beautiful, compact size, beautiful, gorgeous, amazing, wonderful work of art sketch with Asha. And everyone knows Asha Lodowska. She's a Polish illustrator and she she's focuses more on manga inspired artwork. I've been following her for so long. So when she dropped this book, I I had to get it. Like 
there was no reason why i shouldn't get it it's actually a tutorial book she has her gallery she also talks about how like how she became an artist and how she started like getting into art her inspiration early works and stuff but she mostly focuses on tutorials so there's a lot of tutorials in this book like if you need any advice especially if you're into manga inspired art she has so many so many tutorials in this art book and like she talks about how to paint hair how to draw faces expressions eyes how to start a piece from the beginning to the end it's it's just it's amazing it's so good so and also the cover yeah Oh, I forgot to mention how many pages it is. It is 153 pages. And now that I think about it, I don't think I mentioned the amount of pages for the Gleaming book. I'll put it on the screen. So, yeah. But that is this one. I absolutely love it so much. And obviously, all the rewards that came with it, amazing. Unfortunately, it came with a pin and I lost it. So, yeah. Moving on to my next book, we are now halfway through. We are in book six, and this book, you guys, is a little bit different from the other books you've been seeing. The other books are kind of like art books, talking about the artist, their inspirations, progress, tutorials. This book is actually an art of book, and it is Mima by our very own YouTuber here on YouTube, Ross Tran. And oh my god, you guys, this is. I, I said I was not going to be biased in the beginning, but this is actually one of my favorite books. I'm telling you one. Um, but it's probably because it's a story-based book. It's just a world-building book. It's about Nima and the world of Nima. And when you're reading it, you just get so... Ross, you outdid yourself. You you outdid yourself. I read this to my brother and sister on video call, so I read it out for them. And they fell in love with the world. I fell in love with the world. All the characters in this book, amazing. Like the story, the world, the characters. I, I, I keep saying story, world and characters, but honestly, the art as well is so stunning. It makes you get submerged. Like you're playing a video game or watching a movie. It's, it's amazing. Ross is actually one of the most amazing artists I have ever seen. So being able to hold his art in my hands is a dream come true. It was actually a Kickstarter, but I couldn't back it when it originally came out. So I'm really sad because all the goodies seem so good and goodies seem so good. But I couldn't get it at that moment. But the moment it was the pre-order launched, I instantly spent all my money on it. Like, okay, I'm exaggerating, but no, I'm not. I actually spent all my money on it. I had to get it and I do not regret it one bit. It's Next book is The Art of Penulium. I cannot pronounce my her name, so please forgive me. Like, it's a struggle. But this book is also a very compact book, as you can see, just like Sketch with Asia. I think they are about the same size ratio. Um, again, it has this backing, so not really a fan of that. But the art on it is stunning, so I have to leave it on. And Penulium is one of my one of my early inspirations, actually. I've been following her art for so long. Her art just like gives you that Disney vibe. It's so gorgeous, so amazing. And her stylization and simplification is chef's kiss. Like it's just gorgeous. All her colors, everything just has this appeal and this charm that just makes you want to like watch it be animated. You just want to know more about the character. She has some tutorials in it and she has some galleries of all her works. She also has behind the scenes and stories from not stories but like she talks about her past and her inspirations so this is a really nice book too if you want to have some tutorials and know how to like get that really um disney flat kind of 2d animated style it's gorgeous it's a work of art the next book i got after that is also very much different from all the other books i've mentioned it's actually more of a art educational book so it's this book by james gurney color and light and i'm sure you guys have heard this book everywhere and honestly it is worth the talk it's worth every single hype it gets this book changed my life literally made me see the world in a different perspective as a painter an artist seeing color and light it's really been helping me as you can see i'm not done with the book i'm actually here in this page well, I'm learning shapes of color schemes and it's really going to help me next year because I really want to get into painting traditionally with maybe oils or acrylics. So this book is literally going to be my Bible for next year. Really dives deep about colors. He dives deep about lights and surface area and how to literally execute and paint 
all those stuff that seems so complicated he makes it seem so easy and he explains it in really really understandable ways that you don't have to be a genius or a master to actually get what he's talking about i recommend this to everyone even if you don't want to paint even if you don't want to even if you're just using inks it's such a good read one the knowledge is very necessary too and even if you're trying to not go into realism it helps like the knowledge of color and light still can be carried out in every aspect of art it's really helpful so yeah i do advise you to get this book for any artist in any medium any form our ninth book is this book by grace and you guys must have already seen this if you're actually a uh, old viewer on my channel in my first vlog i actually unboxed it and i talked about how much i loved it so much this is the art of grace and grace is an extraordinary artist you guys he makes really surreal scenes whether it's fantasy or urban he just has this vibe to his drawings and illustrations it's it's so gorgeous and it has like a very stylized look but also very anime but also very realistic so i call it like semi-realism anime semi-realism it's it's so good his paintings are all digital it's just so gorgeous and i backed this book on kickstarter so i also got it with some rewards and posters and postcards and i think bookmark yeah i got that with all those i actually haven't finished reading this one as well um i've just been really busy with youtube and stuff so i haven't had the time to read read it i am on this page and yeah that is the art of goods and my final book for today's video is this book this beautiful gorgeous book by jamila kanoff and it is como baby i hope i am pronouncing that right because i might be wrong but this is como baby and it's my most recent baby in my collection and it is by jamila kanoff it is a stunning art book she talks about her she talks about her story growing up as a kid which is so emotional you guys should really read it i think her like knowing the behind the scenes and what actually happened to an artist while growing up really helps and shows why the artist draws that kind of subject such a stunning book it's all her artworks are amazing i've been following jamila for so long and like i haven't finished reading it as well um i'm actually just started reading it like last week but already i flipped through it and she has tutorials she talks about how she paints her backgrounds which everyone knows jamila's backgrounds are stunning so she talks about how she paints foliage as um lots of stuff this book is gorgeous she also has like her intober pieces and breaks down her process it's just a very gorgeous book and yeah i i got this on kickstarter as well so it also came with a print it came with a bookmark it came with stickers and it came with postcards so that is the final book in my collection so you guys as you can see i just have 10 art books but i really love art books and if you do as well i really encourage you to check out these artists if you don't have their, your, their books in your collection as well it's really good all worth the investment also one last thing what you see me holding here is actually a tier one art of grace first edition kickstarter back book whatever but apparently the because of the whole situation that happened this year when i backed the first book i actually didn't get my order so 3d total kindly sent out a new one to me and i got that one on time but unfortunately some weeks later the original one that i backed actually came in the mail and now i have this art book and no idea what to do with it it has all the rewards still intact everything's still here it's literally still sealed no idea what to do with it i would have just easily returned it but the thing is i was expecting the jamila's art book the como berry art book so i thought that was what it was and i literally already signed and picked it up before i left the post office then i turned it back and i was like yikes so if you guys are interested in this art book just dm me on instagram and we can talk about that and negotiate on how you can receive the first edition kickstarter full rewards you can literally not find this anywhere else the kickstarter has ended everything here is limited edition and you you literally can't find this anywhere else so just just saying this this is a once in a lifetime opportunity okay you don't just find people giving out kickstarter backings okay so yeah just dm me that so you guys i'm going to end this video here hope you enjoyed this little tour of all my art books i love art books so much and i hope you enjoyed it as well don't forget to like subscribe and hit that bell icon to turn on post notifications to be reminded each time i upload a new video and until next week bye